Two teams. My attention is drawn Here to the go. front court matchup. Oh, yeah. This should be a battle on the baseline. Great to watch skilled bigs trade blows and show off what they can do down low. Now let's take a look at Phoenix's opening lineup. Beal and Allen are out on the wing. KD and Nurkic are the big man for him. And it's Booker in at the point. Allen with a screen on DeRozan. And that one's good by Durant. You got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Murray. And Durant with the block. And for all the attention his offense gets, never question Durant's ability at the defensive end. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Free throws good from Durant. And you look at how Durant is playing at his age. He's still as elite as it gets, RJ. You don't lose skill. KD could play into his 40s if he wanted to. That shot isn't going away, and he's always going to be tall. He will be one of the best scorers every time he laces it up. Now here's Sabonis. Pass to Ellis. Shot clock at six. Fox outside. Three-pointer. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Showing that quickness that time. Fox getting rid of it in a hurry. Booker, the pass to Beal. Driving in. The kick to Durant. Launches a three. Kept alive. From downtown. Pass to Booker. Fires for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. At the arc, Booker is pretty efficient. This man can hurt you from downtown if you're not careful. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. DeRozan against Allen. DeRozan left side. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Beal, and he drops in the layup off the glass. There are so many ways that Bradley Beal can beat you. The Kings have gone one for three so far. Sabonis outside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. And Richard, whenever Sabonis plays, it's surprising if he doesn't record a double-double. Oh, they're usually monster double-doubles also. Close to 20 points, 13 rebounds, and at least six assists. Domas, he is an offensive hub. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Grant, in the spring of 2024, a remarkable streak ended. Damanis Sabonis had recorded 61 consecutive double-doubles. Yeah, it was the longest streak since the merger back in 1976. Now, Sabonis has led the NBA in rebounding multiple years. Plus, he has averaged eight assists in a season. So that is big-time production. He does not get the second one. Ever since Phoenix changed ownership, they've been all in on winning now, Richard. They've traded a lot picks away and young talent to assemble a team of superstars some of the best shooters in the history of this league and they were willing to go deep into the luxury tax to sustain it gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce a bit ago Mike Brown and I were able to chat I asked him about the many difficulties that Kevin Durant presents to a defense and coach said with most guys you can force them left or right or send help with Kevin he can always shoot over the top of you sometimes you feel helpless in that regard not a lot of solutions for a seven-foot sharpshooter, guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. 
Grant, when you talk about De'Aaron Fox, what an exciting player. That he is. And just now entering the prime years of his career. We've seen him make great strides the last few years. And it's scary trying to think just how much he can still improve. Free throws good for Fox. Richard, the first winner of the NBA Clutch Player of the Year, De'Aaron Fox. And he's great late in games because he's so quick. you got to give him space. But he's improved his outside shot. So you can't just lay off of him. Makes him a little tough to guard, especially late. Now here's Beal. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, over Bradley Beal's career, he succeeded in a few different roles, RJ. Yeah, he played with the ball-dominant guy. Then he became the sole star on his team. And now he's playing with multiple stars. Evolution is a part of success, and Bradley Beal is doing it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Beal. A combo guard with a versatile offensive game. Beal is one of those guys that any team would love to have. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Richard, something you notice about these Kings, they shoot plenty of threes. And that's the modern game for you, B.A. But Sacramento shoots especially freely. You are right. And those shots often connect. So I doubt that that trend changes for them anytime soon. Now here's Booker. Nurkic a screen on Murray. For three, Durant. And once again, off the mark by Phoenix. Kings trail by four. Pass to Murray. You know, when it comes to Keegan Murray, it's his all-around presence that helps this team, Richard. Yeah, he's a very talented glue guy. He doesn't make a ton of splash plays, but he is steady and consistent, and coaches love players like that. And he makes a first. And the Kings have held tough. But it seems like the West has gotten tougher, Graham. Well, what's the saying? If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And the Kings have to find that next level. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, the last few years, Richard, the Suns have had some all-time greats. But this is Devin Booker's team. No doubt. Drafted in 2015. Book's been here his entire career. His first few seasons. Let's just say they were rebuilding, but Devin stayed loyal and enjoyed some stellar seasons since then. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Beal, the pass to Durant. There's a screen by Nurkic. Clock at four. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on Keegan Murray. A impossible guy to cover. Durant puts defenses in situations where they must compromise and foul him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. throws good from Durant. Well, Grant the Kings, one of those up-and-coming teams that are knocking at the door. Yeah, they have some stars, B.A., 
They have some great, great role players, too. Part of their problem is they're in the Western Conference. It's so hard to just make the play-in tournament in that conference. Second free throw, no good. Well, Richard, I know you had the pleasure of guarding Kevin Durant. Not an easy assignment. What was that like? You're right, B.A. I had the pleasure of guarding him in the NBA Finals. And let's say it was not the easiest of tasks. He's become such a complete player, there's no way to stop him. He takes what you give him, and he kills you with it. And it's Fox missing. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Murray against Durant. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Fox. DeRozan outside. Let's the three fly. Nails it from three. It's a tie ball game. This is why you involve DeRozan in pick and rolls. He just knows how to execute off them. Just so smooth. Back to Durant. Three-pointer off the mark. The Kings have gone just three for seven here at the start. Ellis passes to DeRozan. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. He's good enough where it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. Now here's Durant. He's got six. Now Beal. Back to Durant. Nurkic a screen on Murray. Here's Durant. And it falls all over the rim and in. Durant's got eight. It just looks too easy. Durant with the skill and height to get anything he wants from the mid-range. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. He picked the right tool for that job. Beats tough defense with the reverse. Outside Booker. Durant with a screen on Fox. And there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist by Booker. Ten points for him. I love the confidence that Durant plays with. The closer he gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Ellis. Hounded by Beal. Now Murray. And stolen by Durant. In transition. Here come the Suns. That gives him the lead. There's the length of Durant coming into play. Grabs the steal, takes it the distance. He is just unbelievable. And we'll have a timeout called by Mike Brown. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And it's a completely new group for the Kings. The Kings have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Outside Monk. From deep. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. And that one's good. Bowl. It is tough for any defender to impact the jump shot when he's giving up so much height. Kings trail by four. Glocklin, pass to Lynn. Pass to Monk. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Herger. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority.
The Suns lead by four. Outside Jones. There's a screen by Bowl. Down low. It's intercepted. Monk with it. He's working on Morris. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line. A chance at a three-point play. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. Sacramento shooting their sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. No good on that one. The Suns have got 8 of 15 shots to go. Left side Jones. Back to Morris. From outside the arc. Monk grabs the miss. Sacramento has gone 2 for 4 from range to start things off. Pass to McLaughlin. Fires from deep. Phoenix grabs the miss. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Hey, Brian, the Kings have to get better defensively. Coach Mike Brown said for us, it's about five guys guarding the basketball. When the ball moves, all five guys should move. We have some pretty good individual defenders, but we're not relying on them to shut down the great players. Brian, it's a team effort. Defense on a string, Alley. Thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Good on both. Kings trail by four. Here's McLaughlin, yet to see a basket. Pass to Herder. Here's McLaughlin. Clock at six. Outside Monk. Off target from outside. The Suns lead by four. Now here's Jones. There's the screen by Bowl. Jones in the post. Second chance effort. Outside O'Neal. Here's Morris. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Not the best pick I've seen, but like, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Suns? They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. Yeah, they've also started out on fire from mid-range. We'll see if they continue to that approach as the game goes on. Morris, no good on the free throw. Kings trail by six. Outside Monk. Pass to McLaughlin. Back to Monk. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Mason Plumley. Sacramento shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts of the game. down the first one. Both shots good from the strike. There's a minute 59 left in the opening quarter. 
Jones with the ball. Still no points. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Jones hits them both. Here's McLaughlin. 146 left in the first. Pass to Lynn. Here's Lyles. Six on the shot clock. A deep three. It's rebounded by Morris. The Suns lead by six. Now here's Plumley. To the inside. Here's Jones. And the bucket is good. And 101 left in the opening quarter. Here's McLaughlin. He's scoreless. to Lynn over Plumley. can't hit the free throw line jumper and it's Phoenix's ball they're on a 16 to 6 run Morris sets a screen here's Jones another one falls for Phoenix boy I like their energy coming in <laughs> terrific execution so far couldn't come up with a much better start than this they just have to keep it going eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock Here's McLaughlin, defended by Jones. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And he drops a first. So one for two that time at the strike. Pass to Morris. Hole, a screen on Monk. Morris for three. It's oh, good! It counts at the buzzer! That's how you beat the clock. Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. Woo. Yeah, that's one 100 type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. And so it's Phoenix going into the break up 12. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Suns enjoying a nice lead here. It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. 
Well, Grant, with all the parity and competition in the league today, there are still those teams piling up losses. Yeah, B.A., and with teams like the Thunder excelling, it's almost like youth is no longer an excuse. But some rebuilds take longer than others. On the floor for Phoenix, KD and Nurkic are the big men for them. Booker is the two, with Allen playing small forward. And it's Jones in at the one. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Now here's Jones to the paint. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, the big man, Nurkic, from super close range. Monk passes to Sabonis. Fox against Jones. Kick by Murray. Here's Fox from deep. The rebound by Devin Booker. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Allen can't get it to go. And Fox has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. 11-point game. And there it is, that speed of Fox using it on that drive to pick up the foul in the process. And this will be a second trip to the free throw line. First free throw is good. We look at the pace of this league, and Fox, look, he is built for it. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for Phoenix. And both free throws good for Fox. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Fox against Booker. Outside Durant. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Tenacious move by Beal inside, absorbing that contact. He's made one and missed one so far at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. He's off on the second. Kings trail by 10. So bonus, the pass to DeRozan. Here's Fox. Fox beats him inside. A slick move. The defense comes at Fox hard, but he's ready for it. He knows how to stay agile and nimble inside. DeMar DeRozan, an impressive scorer who takes relatively few three-point shots, Greg. Yeah, the arc is not his primary focus. He'd rather pick you apart in the mid-range, but he does it so consistently that the points pile up quick. Monk for three. Oh, denied by Durant. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Fox finds a bonus. The floater. Monk for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Booker. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. You know, Booker gets a lot of praise for his scoring, but how about his skill as a passer, Richard? Oh, he's a good decision-maker, B.A. He's able to read defenses and dissect them with his passing. He's shown he can be a traditional, quote-unquote, point guard. And Sacramento making a change here. Ellis has checked in. Grant, if you talk about consistent top-level scores, 
Devin Booker is near the top of that list. Yeah, and going back to the 17-18 season, Devin has averaged at least 25 points every year. Book can create his own shot and finish. It's hard finding guys who can do both. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on De'Aaron Fox. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Grayson Allen's shooting gets a lot of attention, Richard. But his efficiency is also impressive. No, it's his shooting and efficiency that causes Take problems for defenses. When he's on the floor, there will be much more space for everyone else to work. And he makes a first. So both free throws good from Allen. Two part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Sabonis with a screen on Allen. Up top, Sabonis. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Showing off his strength, Sabonis powers through the foul and gets it to fall. This will be his third free throw of the game. Free throw drops for Sabonis. You can tell Sabonis brings a lot of heart to his game. He's serious about winning, but he also knows how to enjoy himself out there with his team. And the timeout Martin. called by Mike Budenholzer. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Allen against DeRozan. Nurkic is screen on DeRozan. To the middle. And Nurkic throws it down. Yeah, when he sets the pick, Nurkic can do different things on the roll. <laughs> Makes him hard to track. DeRozan passes to Sabonis. Fox against Booker. Back to Sabonis. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Sabonis has got five points in the quarter. The Suns lead by ten. Booker, the pass to Beal. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And out of bounds, Sacramento will have it. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. DeRozan double team. Fox outside. Fires the three. Fox, that smooth lefty shot. He's having one of those nights. Fox just filling it up. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Booker against Fox. Denied by DeRozan. And so the ball out of bounds. DeRozan touched it last. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Oh, 
Here's Booker. He's got six. Durant, the pass to Nurkic. Back to Durant. Oh, Durant playing big in the paint. Capable of scoring from any area. Love when Durant takes charge and dominates like this. Pass to Ellis. Fox outside. So bonus, high post. Shot clock at five. Outside Murray. Beyond the arc. Oh, denied by Durant. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. He's made two of his three attempts tonight. game and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it he's so polished in every area his skills are so sharp oh fox too sly beats the contact he's bringing a lot of energy to this offense not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now he's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score that's the kind of player he is and keeping us updated from the sideline Allie laforce Hey, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox, the inaugural 2023 Clutch Player of the Year, he said, quote, you can't be afraid to fail. Obviously, you're not going to make every shot, but my team puts me in position to succeed, so the least I can do is have confidence in myself to take good shots. Brian? Allie, thanks. You know, he's become a star. Phoenix leading by 10. Pass to Nurkic. Allen on the wing. Defended by DeRozan. It's tipped. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Murray passes to Fox. Here's Ellis. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. For the finish. And then Beal with the dunk. Generating offense through his defense. Beal loves seeing him take over like this. This will be his third trip to the free throw line. Plumlee's checked in for the Suns. Morris comes in for Allen. Free throw drops for Beal, and it's Mike Brown calling timeout here. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant, he's getting it done today. He just continues to deal damage inside. They've got to figure a way to slow him down. Kings trail by 13. DeRozan finds a bonus. And here's Fox. Three-pointer. Phoenix grabs the miss. Pass to Durant. Plumley a screen on Murray. Over Murray. And once again, off the mark by Phoenix. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Ellis hits the trifecta. Ellis has got his first three points of the game. One of the best passing bigs in the league. You can run your offense through Sabonis. He makes great decisions. For three, Booker. And Booker cash on the three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Sabonis with a screen on Morris. Inside. Deflects the pass. Plumley against Fox. Just five to shoot. And stolen by Durant. Pass to Morris. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Morris is...
Got seven. At his size, KD is able to see the floor so well. And it helps him make passes just like that. Sabonis with it. Over Plumley, And there are the Kings with another bucket. <laughs> I'll tell you, when he rises up to shoot and with his height advantage, oh, he knows he's going to get a clean look. Yeah, the defender just lacks the reach to be able to contest him properly. Beal's shot is off. And here's Sabonis. He'll bring it up for the Kings. Trailing by 13. First free throw is good. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Lenz checked in for Sabonis. Lyles comes in for Murray. Herders checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's McLaughlin in for Fox. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Jones comes in for Booker. So he hits one of two from the stripe. The Suns lead by 12. Outside Durant. Get through, get through, get through. And that's just too close for KD. He finishes inside. Well, Durant's scoring instincts are just so strong. Even close defenders can't hold him back. McLaughlin passed to Lynn. Hey, yo, right here. Ooh, good D by Plumley. Phoenix has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Durant's shot is off. And Sacramento shooting a solid 47%. And Richard in a league where shooting has never been more valuable. It's great to have a player like Kevin Herter. And he doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. Matter of fact, he's probably best when he's moving off the ball and causing confusion. He puts a lot of pressure on the defense. That free throw misses. And the Suns making a change here. Bowles checked in. And the second free throw is good. Phoenix leading by 13. Morris passes to Jones. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Sacramento. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. falls for him. Monk, he's checked in for McLaughlin. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Phoenix leading by 11. And here's Jones. He's got six. Five to shoot. 
takes the three. Pure from three-point range. Jones has got nine. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? And it's Mike Brown calling time out here. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. Kings trail by 14. Here's Ellis. He's got seven. Monk for three. He buries it from three. Monk's got six points in the quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Jones. He's got nine. Len pulls it in. Sacramento has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Herder gets the bucket. Phoenix leading by nine. Now Jones. There's a screen by Bull. Jones' shot is good. He's got 11. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Ellis passes to Monk. There's a screen by Lynn to the paint. From seven feet away. And again, it's Sacramento converting. And it's Jones with the ball for the Suns. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Durant. A minute six left in the first half. Six to shoot. Jacks up with three. Hauled in by the Kings. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Pass to Ellis. The three is up. 36 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Outside Monk. There's the three. Bowl grabs the board. Bowl's got five rebounds in the game. Morris passes to Durant. Here's Lynn. Outside Monk. through the D for the layup. Monk's got 12 points in the game. And he gives up some size inside but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. And so that's the end of the first half. Suns ahead. They lead by seven. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is, will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? The duo inside. It's Murray and Sabonis. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. And it's Ellis in at the two. That's the five out there for the Kings. Oh, denied by Durant. And now the Suns, fast break. Nurkic passes to Durant. Off the mark there with a three. Kings trail by seven. To the inside, here's Murray. Murray with the jam. Oh, and Murray makes this look all too easy. Superb at throwing it down with some power. And Nurkic throws it down. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And Booker loves these situations because he understands how to finish through physical defense. And this is his second attempt at the line tonight. Free throw good from Booker. This is who you want at the line. And Booker gets himself there a lot. Fox the pass to Sabonis. Now here's Murray. Fox outside. Back to Murray. Fires the three. And they get it back. And Sabonis gets it to go. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. And pushing it up, here's Sacramento. DeRozan outside. Pass to Fox. Six on the shot clock. Double team on Fox. Sabonis right side over Nurkic. The bonus is shot is off. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Now Durant. Outside Booker. Allen outside. Nurkic a screen on DeRozan. For three, Allen gets the three ball to go. Allen's got five. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Fox. 17 points in the game. Here's Ellis, hounded by Beal. Ellis passes to Sabonis. Nails the baby hook. 14 points for him. What a finish by Sabonis. Through a little contact, too. I like it. Pass to Nurkic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Good from Nurkic. The Kings making a switch here. McLaughlin's checked in. Plumley's checked in for Phoenix. And he can't hit the second. And so Sabonis will bring it up for Sacramento. It's a 10-point game. And it's DeRozan missing. 
the Suns have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Nurkic's shot is good. Continuing to develop his jump shot. Nurkic draining his shot has helped his confidence moving forward. Fox the pass to DeRozan. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And Richard, throughout his career, DeMar DeRozan has such an easy time finding ways to score. He knows how to get to his spots on the floor, B.A. You have to do your work early against DeRozan because he is a midi master. If you let him move freely, he will J you to Two death. Shot. And he drops a first. There's an old school feel to DeMar's game. He'll hit you with a pull up mid range J. It makes DeRozan really tough to guard. DeRozan hits them both. And Mike Budenholzer decides to call a timeout. He He wants to review the game plan. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Up top, Booker. He's covered by Fox. There's a screen by Nurkic. Here's Beal. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Fox. Fox fully commits inside. Now that opens the passing lanes for Fox when he's scoring inside. Defenders can't quite be as aggressive on him. Nurkic a screen on Fox. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. Rebounded. Demonis Sabonis. Kings trail by eight. Pass to Fox. Outside Murray. And he gets that one. Murray's got four points this quarter. For Phoenix, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Allen with it. Nurkic finds Allen. Back to Nurkic. Now here's Booker. He's covered by Fox. Just five on the clock. Sabonis on the double team. Nurkic. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Uh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Suns. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't right. have any right. room to breathe. Yeah, they've also done a great job of running. Attacking when they get the chance, always a great idea. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Malik Monk's checked in for Sacramento. And a change for the Suns. O'Neal's checked in. It's both from the stripe. Phoenix leading by six. Beal outside to the middle. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. DeRozan against Allen. DeRozan passes to Fox. On the wing, Murray. He has six. Just five to shoot. Fox finds Sabonis. Deflected! Pass to Booker. Out to Beal. Plumley a screen on Monk. Here's Beal. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. 
He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Great read there from Sabonis, timing that rebound just perfectly. It'll be his fourth time going to the line in this game. Jones, he's checked in for the Suns. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Phoenix leading by seven. And Mike Budenholzer decides to call a timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Lyles, he's checked in for Sabonis. Outside Booker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. What a tricky play by Booker using the pump fake to draw the defender and win the foul. And this will be his third and fourth free throws of the game here. Free throw good from Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. Kings trail by nine. Fox the pass to DeRozan. Back to Fox. Fox gets it to go inside. Look at Fox fearlessly going inside, hunting for a higher percentage look. Now here's Jones. 11 points in the game. For three, Booker. And the Suns miss again. And it's Murray with the ball for Sacramento. Fox outside. Pass to DeRozan. From the arc. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It goes on Grayson Allen. I love watching DeMar DeRozan attract contact on the way up. He's just fearless getting through that contact. He sucks. Three sucks. And he can't get the first one. Morris, he's checked in for Booker. Oh, and he sinks the second. And he nails the third. The Suns lead by five. Outside Jones. Outside O'Neal. Fox against Allen. Shot clock at six. Outside O'Neal. Let's go with a three. Knocks down the long J. 
O'Neal's got five points. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Fox feeling it out a bit. Pass to Monk. From deep three-point land. From beyond the arc and then some. He's got 15. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Plumlee. Now Jones. He's covered by Fox. Releases. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. And the Suns lead by seven. The Kings have gotten eight of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Lyles, the pass to DeRozan. Another three for Sacramento. And look, when DeRozan is shooting with confidence, he is dangerous, especially catching and firing just like that. Morris with it. He has seven. Pumley a screen on Monk. Here's Morris. Down low. Jones up top. He's covered by Fox. Jones misses. Kings trail by four. Murray passes to Fox. Lyles a screen. Elbow shot on the way. And it's Fox missing. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Now here's Morris. From about 19. Rebounded by Lyles. Sacramento has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Fox. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Demonis Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Phoenix. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. I think right now... Oh, he must be looking at some adjustments. Morris passes to Jones. To the middle. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Kings. They trail by six. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And here's Jones. He's got 13. Outside O'Neal. A minute 53 left in the third. Jones from outside. And Tomas Sabonis pulls it down. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. DeRozan outside. Pass to Sabonis. Sabonis draws the double. Clock at six. Sabonis with a screen on Morris. Monk for three. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Plumlee's got his fourth rebound in this one. On the wing, Jones. Ooh, another basket for him. He's six of 11 now. And so here's Sacramento. Six-point game. A minute four left to play in the third quarter here. Up top, Monk. 
Pass to Fox. Six to shoot. 4-3. Kept alive by Sacramento. Monk passes to DeRozan. Knocks down the triple. DeRozan's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. A rare three for DeMar DeRozan. He's a different type of wing. He would much rather step in and knock down the mid-range, too. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Durant draws the double. Morris for three. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's DeRozan. 15 points in the game. And it's good for two. On your jumper, DeMar does something a little bit different. He gets great lift off the floor. That makes his shot so tough to contest. Now Durant. Over Murray. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third. Both teams putting up some points. Suns ahead. They lead by four. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo! Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. And so in the game for the Suns. KD and Nurkic are the big men for him. Devin Booker out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Beal in at the small forward position. Back to Jones. Outside Durant. Over Murray. Goes back up. Out to Beal. The three. Rebound by Sacramento. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And it's Murray finishing it off and you hear a lot about Murray's activity especially on the glass I mean he never stops working gets a lot of second chance points opportunities now here's Beal back to Jones puts up a three can't hit that one the Kings trailing so bonus high post and it's all tied up so bonus has got 21 and what a comeback do they have enough left to maintain this energy and get the win? They've played with a lot of heart to get back in this, and now they've got the other side on their heels with the game winding down. Now here's Booker. Pass to Beal. Here's Nurkic. Over Sabonis. And Nurkic with the basket on the assist by Beal. Beal's got three assists in the game. Good eyes, Bradley Beal. That's a nice setup there. DeRozan against Beal. DeRozan outside. Knocked away. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Durant, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Now here's DeRozan. Shoots over Beal. Muscling it home. DeRozan. Isn't it beautiful watching DeRozan just work through contact? He loves overcoming these kind of moments. Beal outside. Here's the three. That's good. And it's Jones with the assist. Jones has got four assists in the game. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. 
And we'll have a timeout called by Mike Brown. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little room for error. Allen, he's checked in for the Suns. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to the team. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Now here's Fox. No good from outside. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Durant finds Booker. Beal against Fox. Beal, the pass to Booker. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And it's a seven-point Suns lead. This is Booker at his most dangerous. No hesitation right there. Pass to DeRozan. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Fox against Booker. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. When Fox drives, he knows he's going to get contact, but he stays locked in and gets the foul call. Shoot two. Free throw's good for Fox. And both free throws good for Fox. The Suns lead by five. Booker surveying the floor. Nurkic a screen on Monk to the paint. And Nurkic throws it down. Things are going his way so far offensively. Nurkic really rising to the challenge of this defense. Here's Fox. Sabonis with a screen on Booker. There's the triple. And another miss by Sacramento. And so Durant will bring it up for the Suns. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. So it's Sacramento now. Coming off a Suns make. Fox outside. Pass to Sabonis. Five to shoot. Over Nurkic. Again, the miss by the Kings. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Beal against Murray. Beal, the pass to Allen. There's a screen by Nurkic. Monk against Allen. Great D that time from Monk. Kings trail by nine. The Rosen outside. Thirteen feet out. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way though. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. DeRozan has every shot, but that mid-range, yeah, that's his bread and butter. On the wing, Durant. Beal outside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Beal doesn't shy away from contact, which is how he draws these fouls. one's off. So the Kings making a change here. Ellis is checked in.
Good on the second one. And so here's Sacramento. Trailing by eight. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Now here's DeRozan. Fox with the ball. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. And man, is he in his zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Outside Booker. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Free throw good from Booker. Kings trail by nine. And here is DeRozan. Shot clock at five. Nice D from Allen. The Suns lead by nine. Outside Booker. Back to Duran. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. Just absolutely dominant inside. You have to be all over Durant. Throws good from Durant. And both free throws good for Durant. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. DeRozan against Allen. Double team on DeRozan. Box for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. From deep three-point land. And Domas Sabonis pulls it down. And so Sabonis will bring it up for the Kings. 11-point game. Fox, the pass to Ellis. Back to Fox. Sabonis with a screen on Booker. Three-pointer, Fox drops in the three. Fox has got 11 points here in the second half. The correct read by Fox, taking it himself. De'Aaron is showing that sometimes being selfish is the right decision. Nurkic a screen on Fox. Here's Booker. Ooh, against inside resistance. Booker still good. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Murray from outside. Durant surveying the D. Pass to Booker. Over Fox. In deep. Booker gets it to go. He has no deficiencies. He has no flaws in his offensive game. Booker, he's capable of dropping 30 on any given night against any given player. Sabonis with it. Defended by Nurkic. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Phoenix leading by 11. Nurkic with the ball. Picked up by DeRozan. And Durant with the big finish. Okay, normally the guy is a sleeper, but those were two loud points there by Kevin Durant. DeRozan looks it over. Got a piece of it. Nurkic against Sabonis. Murray brings the double. The kick to Durant. For three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Oh, man. For whatever reason, he can't get it going from three. And he's pretty good from there. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And because Fox likes to score so often, it puts defenses in a very tough situation. He really earns a lot of these calls. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throws good for Fox. That one misses. Phoenix leading by 12 to the inside. Oh, my. Booker just throwing it down. And with his skill, you kind of forget that Booker is 6'5 and can get to the rim with ease. Pass to Fox. Here's Ellis, hounded by Beal. Here's Fox. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. One shot. Free throws good for Fox. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Push 
And both free throws good for Fox. And so here's Phoenix. Now Booker. Pass to Durant. Over Murray. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Kings trail by nine. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. On the wing to Rosen. Allen defending. Oh, DeRozan hits it anyway. And it's hard to believe that DeRozan's offense only continues to get stronger. And in this one, he's really showing us what he can do. Here's Booker. Over Fox. Booker's shot is good. Booker's got 29. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Sabonis. Back to Fox. Again, the King score! The defense was so focused on keeping Fox in front of them, and that gave him enough room to sink it in from mid-range. Booker, the pass to Durant. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's a screen by Nurkic. Beal's shot is off. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. They kick it out to Murray. They get it back. Here's Ellis. He connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. And that's an intentional foul. Trying here to put the game out of reach. And that's why it's important to play this one smart. And so they foul intentionally. Free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. And the Kings call time here. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Any speculation on what we're going to see coming out of this timeout? They're going to have to get up a quick shot and then foul immediately. Two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Basket's good. There are guys that can take that shot, and there are guys that can make that shot. DeRozan loves having the ball in these big moments because he understands how to deliver. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. And he buries it. And now they trail by just four. I love it when young players add elements to their game. If Murray can continue to pass like that, he'll be tough to slow down. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock.
He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Now a timeout by Sacramento. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. From a coaching perspective, what are the keys to focus on here? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. Gets the first, and that brings him within five. DeRozan hits them both. 17 seconds left in the game. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Clock working against them right now. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Back to Sabonis. Let's it go from deep. Oh, the trifecta! He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. The pressure is on, and he's got a plan to share with his guys. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. one drops and that gives him a four point cushion and he hits both free throws here and it's a five point game when you've got your opponent down don't let him up this one's all but over so it's Phoenix picking up the win and they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And that'll do it, folks. For Richard Jefferson, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. And now, time for our player of the game, Devin Booker.